client is showing up, so we're gonna jump into a meeting real quick. When COVID first hit, I was really nervous about what this was gonna mean for our business. This is prime real estate right here. One of the things that's top of mind for me right now is growth for the design team. I'm just saying this because um, I know you guys have been asking what the heck is the same page meeting. Like look at how dramatic this looks. Good morning, YouTube. Nice to see you. Today is feels like a really special day because we've got someone new behind the camera. You guys can say hi to Matt in the comments. Um, we're gonna be vlogging today. I'm gonna take you through my day. It is a Monday and um, today, Crystal and I are kicking off with a little tech assessment because IDS, the big interior design show, is happening in Vancouver this week. And of course, because it's COVID, everything is virtual. So even though I'm one of the keynote speakers, we're gonna be doing this virtually. And um, I'm teaming up with Annika Quinn from Western Living Magazine. Good morning. Hi, are you guys able to hear us? How are you doing? Good, how are you? So exhausted. <laughs> Framing um, looks great, Karen, on your end. Tyler will send over the uh, speed test link so that we can see the, the internet quality. I feel like we're close to 100, is that good? Really good. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so as you guys can see, it's still super, super busy. Even though it's COVID, life goes on. I am still doing speaking engagements and appearances and stuff like that. Most of all of these types of speaking events and appearances have all moved online. And this is the world that we live in today. There's other parts in the world that have been hit really, really hard with COVID. But as of right now, the numbers have been very, very low in Canada, so I feel really lucky and fortunate that that is the case because we've managed to stay super, super busy. The team has showed up in a great mood this Monday morning because last Friday, I hosted a designer appreciation dinner, which was so great. just an opportunity to bring our team together and appreciate all the designers for all their hard work. Um, it's been crazy. It's been, it's been nuts here at House of Bon. So, come on, we're gonna check in with the team. Today, uh, we'll just establish like some long lead times and give ourselves some breathing room. Yeah especially since we're not going into construction anytime soon. <laughs> yes, I want us as a team to just get those started out the way so we can be like, here it is, it's done, sign off on it, we'll do a review meeting. Yeah. And then... Close it out, close out the phase, out. invoice you, and then now it's clear that yeah. anything after this is... It's yeah. just, it's, it's a holding phase, that's it. Yeah. yeah. You made changes, we, we have a graduation. Yeah. yeah, totally agree. Chris, are you still awake? Oh, he's on the Hello. phone. Hi, Chris! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thanks guys. <laughs> now we are continuing the prep for the interior design show. So I'm going to jump on a Zoom call with editor-in-chief of Western Living Magazine, Annika Quinn. You guys might have been introduced to her on my YouTube channel previously when I did way back when, when I was doing an interview series called Cocktail Conversations. Annika and I sat down and we talked about her career um, as an editor and how she got into the magazine world. If you want, you can check it out. Maybe we'll add a little link somewhere where you can hit that button. Um, so I'm gonna jump on a Zoom call with her. Hi, Annika. How's it going? Good, it's so nice to see you. Hi, 
Congrats. Yeah. I love your backdrop there. Oh, That's thanks. Yeah, the wallpaper in my office. And how are you doing these days? Good. We, knock on wood, we have stayed super busy, um, right. which is great. We kind of yep. pivoted like really quickly when COVID first hit and we, you know, like we were all kind of working from home and I was really nervous about what this was going to mean for our business, but it seems um, like it's leveled off actually quite a bit. So I feel very like fortunate about that. We're keeping on, keeping on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. A lot of designers expected everyone's going to lock it down, but yeah. in a lot of ways, people have really taken this time to yeah. say like, you know, totally. Yes, I'm here all the time. Totally. Yeah. Well, that's good. It's nice to see you. So yeah. I'm excited to um, kind of run through this with you. Yeah. What inspired this topic is actually Common Ground, the fitness studio that we just finished designing um, and it opened up in Olympic Village. Oh my gosh, they, and I feel so bad for some of our clients, they were about to open and COVID hits. Mm. So many businesses, it's brutal. So many businesses and we had a couple of like, they that happened to them, a few restaurant clients. It was just like heartbreaking. The really kind of inspiring thing about Common Ground is that the fitness studio with, was completely designed with inclusivity and diversity in mind. You know, with that and the Black Lives Matter movement, it just really got me thinking about how uh, design is a catalyst to fostering change. And so I just thought that that would be an interesting topic. Yeah, totally. We'll put together a little outline and I'll send over some photos. Yeah. Uh, I'll shoot you an email with another Zoom invite for Wednesday. Yeah, sounds great. Yeah? Okay. Perfect. Cool. Okay, okay yeah. thanks, Annika. Love you too. Okay, yeah. have a good Bye. day. Bye. have seen um, Crystal and I do our same page meetings, which is our, our Tuesday morning, first thing in the morning meeting that we do to get aligned um, on everything that's going on between media, marketing, shoots, content, projects, on and on, and on. <laughs> appearances, <laughs> on and on and on and on. So, um, sponsorships so Crystal is like the master coordinator and organizer of all of that um, chaos she makes sure the chaos is very organized and buttoned up and so every Tuesday morning we touch base to get aligned on um, what lies ahead it's been a super effective meeting and I'm just saying this because um, I know you guys have been asking what the heck is the same page meeting so that's what it is right yeah. would you add to that just it's like to get aligned. Yeah. Like we're all on the same page. We're all on the same page. That's why it's called the same page meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Not much added value there. No, but. we're very we're very direct here at House of Bond. Um, <laughs> just like this morning is the Monday morning meeting. <laughs> you know exactly what you're getting. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's not that deep. Yeah. <laughs> All of these great opportunities feel like they keep coming up, mm -hmm. but this is my thing right now. I'm trying to be very, very strategic and focused and mindful on what I say yes to. We already have so much on the go that even when these opportunities come out, they seem like they're really good. I know, <laughs> but you can't say yes to everything. You can't say yes to everything. And if I say yes to everything, then I end up just being really tired and depleted and um, we never get our big, big priorities done. Because if it's a priority, you'll make time for it. Oh, definitely, definitely. And you don't want to be making time for things that aren't a priority, so yep. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so you guys have heard me talk a lot about Lynn Cafe, the amazing French restaurant that we are designing in Vancouver House, which is this incredible, uh, very high-end, well-known, new development and building that is right downtown Vancouver. There are some huge commercial spaces and Lynn Cafe is a French restaurant that is taking over one of the spaces. It's 4,200 square feet, is that right? Yeah, oh, 46. It's 46? Yeah, 4,600 square feet. 4,600 square feet, so this is a big 
restaurant. And our client is showing up, perfect timing. <laughs> our client is showing up, so we're gonna jump into a meeting real quick. Do we have a before and after that we could show them? Yeah, so you can see the difference between the two. It's the smaller format. I think this, I really do think that this is a better design. Because look, this, don't forget, this whole room is completely open. This is a utility hallway. Food is going to be running back here. Yeah, well, we hope very that you well. like it. <laughs> it ran together very well. Yeah. Okay, so client meeting is done. We've got our contract signed off with a contractor for the build out of this restaurant, which is very exciting because we've been working on the design for a number of months now and it is about to go into construction, which is pretty cool. One of the things that's top of mind for me right now with my team and in the office is growth for the design team. So there are people in the studio who are taking on more management roles and more senior designer roles, which is very, very exciting because for me as a leader, that's one of the things that I love so much and one of the things that I actually get a lot of joy and satisfaction from is having the people around me grow and take on more responsibility. Right now, I'm trying to really focus in on just a couple of things. So I'm trying not to spread myself too thin. I'm trying to stay really, really focused in on making sure the creative direction is really clear, business development and marketing. So things like this, talking to you guys on the vlog. And the reason for that is because there's nobody else in your business that is going to promote and sell and market your business as hard and as much as you are. So this is just something that I can't pass off to anyone else. Okay, everyone, I am really excited to share this project with you and uh, take you with me into this presentation center. So, we are on the corner of Camby and 43rd. Did I say that right? Yeah, 43rd. Camby and 43rd in Vancouver. This is prime real estate right here because we're right across from Oak Ridge Center. We're doing a very exciting collection of high-end townhomes. The project itself is going to be located on 52nd and Ash. So, this is the presentation center and we are, hmm, I wanna say six weeks away from getting this space open. Now, I haven't been here for a very long time, so we're gonna duck in, check up on construction and see how things are going. Right now, we're standing in the front of the presentation center and what I'm really, really excited about is all the natural light that's coming into this space. The floors have been installed. They look great. They're a very light, whitewashed, soft color oak. The walls are gonna be a really nice, soft beige. We're gonna have a wood screen in the back here, a big reception area because you have to have that for a presentation center. You wanna be able to control traffic of everybody coming in and out of the space. So we've got a nice big reception desk right here. This area, this whole area is very exciting because this project is called Wellside by Belford Properties. And the reason it's called Wellside is because there is a very big wellness component to this. Healthy living, fresh spaces, and to convey that message, we have an installation of a tree happening right here in the corner. Okay, come with me. So, as you leave this space that's gonna be warm and cozy and very tonal and light, 
we're going to guide traffic into this space, which is the model table area. The whole idea with this space is that it's gonna be very dark. We're gonna have a model table of the site and the townhomes, which is gonna be illuminated, illuminated panels of the project. And the idea is that you're transitioning into this presentation center with a light area in the front, so a light reception area, a really, really dark area where the model table is, and then you push into our kitchen, which is looking so good. I am so excited about this. So these homes are very clean, very contemporary, um, really clean lines. We've got oak kitchen doors. We've got this amazing quartz countertop. Uh, this really light colored stone, white uppers. And what I love about this scheme is that, actually in both schemes, so this is the light scheme and there will be a dark scheme. Um, but on display, we're gonna display the light scheme. What I love about these kitchens is that they have these dark interiors. So even though this is a really light scheme, all the cabinets are really dark inside and that's just gonna add to this whole feeling of luxury. Gorgeous. So this is gonna look so, so good with this scheme. I love the contrast of the gold with the gray. One thing I am noticing though, is that we need to switch out um, these stoppers from stainless steel. It's all in the details. It's looking really, really good. Now, I had said that this is the light scheme, but let me show you something. Like, look at how dramatic this looks. This tile is just stunning. So this dark marble tile is part of the dark scheme. So out there, we decided to do a kitchen in the light scheme, bathroom in the dark scheme, just to show uh, the two different schemes. But what I love about this bathroom is this tile is on the floor, it's on all of the walls, it's in the shower, and we've got these champagne gold fixtures in the shower as well, which just look incredible on this dark marble tile. It's looking really, really, really good in here. Really good. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. You got to come with me today and see another day in the life. It was actually really fun vlogging with you guys today. Obviously, Matt is behind the camera, so this is gonna be a little bit of a different style of vlog, but comment below and let us know if you like the new style. I had a lot of fun vlogging and I'm so excited that I got to update you guys on what is happening over at House of On. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye for now. I feel like you moved here longer ago. Was it four years ago? Well, so, God, this is going to go on forever. Oh, That's my a long gosh. story. Off and on for my whole life. Well, <laughs> hi from Julian Harris. <laughs>